King of the Mountain. First up tonight, we have Flea Montpelier driving in Hendrix. The Hendrix is a custom 69 Chevy C10 truck weighing 103.5 grams. Up next, we have CJ driving in the Nasty Nomad. It's a 1969 Chevy Nomad weighing 80.6 grams. Then we have Key Grant driving in Sangria. It's a Matchbox limousine with FTE wheels weighing 83.1 grams. And last up we have King Silverback driving in Oh Really? Oh Really? Yeah. Okay, it's a 67 Buick Grand National weighing 68.8 grams. This one's actually made by Racing Champions. Oh really? Yep, that's the name of the car. That's gonna get old really quick. I agree. Here we go with the start of the first of five races. We have Flea Montpelier on the front right and CJ on the front left. That Chevy C10 has the most weight in today's race and those FTE wheels, it should be fast. Key Grant bump drafting in that limo. Whoa, he's going off the road. Watch out. CJ and Silverback both avoid the collision. Montpelier way out in the lead, and he will take the first race no problem at all with a track time of 17.286 seconds. CJ takes second on that race, Silverback taking third, and that's going to be a DNF for Key Grant in that limousine. He was doing well. It was a close race. I'm not sure what happened, but he went right off the road right here. He might have had a little too much sangria. I thought he was going to cause a pileup right here, but look at CJ. Great driver instincts to go around that limo. Yeah, reflexes like that are the difference between getting a DNF and getting some points on the board. Great driving by CJ and Silverback. Here we go with race two, CJ on the front right, Silverback on the left. It's a close race so far. Silverback with a slight lead going into the first turn. It's a close one. CJ and Silverback going back and forth on the lead. Silverback pulls ahead. A lot of contact into turn two. Silverback still in the lead. A fight for second between CJ and Key Grant. Here comes Flea Montpelier and down goes Key Grant. That will be another DNF for him and Silverback will take the win on this one. There was a lot of back and forth on that race. Yeah, there was a lot of paint swapping there. A slow time though, 20.686 seconds for Silverback. Key Grant just not having a good race tonight. That limo seems like it might be fast, but he just cannot seem to finish a race. Flea Montpelier bullying his way through traffic right there. That's the advantage of having that extra weight. Yeah, having extra weight can be a good thing. Thank you. That's what I've been saying for years. This big gut right here is a good thing. We're talking about the cars too. It applies to this too. Okay, well, I'm not going to body shame anyone on the air, so. Nothing to be ashamed of here, 3D. All right. This big, beautiful specimen is called the man. Okay, let's get back to the race. Whoa, Flea Montpelier wrecks. Wow, he almost went off the cliff. Key Grant all by himself, and he'll pick up the win on race three with a decent time, 17.182 seconds. A solid win for Key Grant, but he is still way behind in points. Yeah, he's still on the bottom of the scoreboard with those two DNFs in the first two races. Also, I'm surprised the cops didn't come out on that race. Yeah, maybe they got stuck or something, I'm not sure. Here's the replay, Flea Montpelier almost falling off the side of the cliff. Look at that again from this angle. Wow, he is very, very lucky. And good driving once again by Silverback and CJ, avoiding that wreck. Both drivers seem to be playing it safe in this race, and it is paying off. Yeah, they are in first and second place. They're not breaking any records, but they are putting points on the board with their consistency. This time, Key Grant and Flea Montpelier are in the front row. They are the two fastest drivers in this race. Flea gets sideways, oh, and both oh, drivers oh, are out. A double wipeout on two. The police are in pursuit of Silverback. Don't mess up. Silverback rounding the final turn. The police right on his tail. Whoa. Whoa! He just tried to push the police car off the road. An aggressive move by King Silverback. <laughs> I, I thought we agreed not to call anyone King. Well, that was a pretty boss move right there. Yeah, it was. I liked it. Flea Montpelier down again in the Chevy C10. That's his second DNF in a row. And that is Key Grant's third DNF for the night. The officer should have stopped right there and took both those guys to the impound lot. Might as well. They have zero chance of winning tonight, which is a shame because they both have faster vehicles than CJ or Silverback. It doesn't do you any good to have a bunch of speed if you cannot control it. And here we go with race five. The drivers are lined up based on their points. 
King Silverback in the pole position, CJ next to him. This race is now between those two drivers. Four points separating them. The only chance CJ has is if Silverback wrecks and he gets first place. CJ out in the lead as they approach the open section. Key Grant cutting off Silverback. Uh oh. Flea Montpelier wrecks again on turn two. I think CJ's got this one. Not so fast. Silverback is still in the race. And CJ will pick up the win, followed by Key Grant. And here comes Silverback taking third. So I think Silverback will be advancing. Uh, yes, Silverback will take the win by one point. Wow, that's a close one. It looks like that Chevy C10 might be headed to the impound lot. Here's a look at the replay. I thought for sure we were going to see three cars go down right there. Silverback was lucky to get out there without wrecking. And you can see right here, Officer Perez decides to pull over and just take the truck. You know the old saying, one street racer wrecked is worth two on the road. And here's the qualifier list. K Silverback will be advancing on to Tournament 3 as the slowest qualifier so far. Wow, he advances with a plus 20 second time. That's gotta be one of the slowest qualifiers we've ever had. We've got one more qualifier before the first ever impound lot race. Yeah, that's gonna be an interesting one. It could be great or a total disaster. I think it's gonna be a disaster, but hey, a disaster can be fun. Agreed. Until next time, I'm 3D Botmaker. And I'm 2D. And you've been watching King, King of, of the, the Mountain. Mountain.